I would like to tell you how I became involved in humanitarian causes and what this means to my life. And also, I urge you to think about the injustices in our world today and what every one of us can do to overcome them. One voice goes unheard. But when we unite with the sincere will to change, together we are strong and our voices will be heard. Since I met my husband, the Aga Khan, I embraced his vision on improving living conditions and opportunities for the poor without regard to their face, origin or gender. So I followed the family tradition and dedicated myself to the service to humanity. At my husband's side, I got involved in the many different programs and initiatives of his charitable foundations. Through my work, I traveled to many countries, especially in Africa and Asia. I have witnessed many people living in extreme poverty and seen their suffering. But one particular encounter I will never forget, and that was my visit at an Afghan refugee camp in Peshawar, Pakistan, some years ago. Thousands of people, mainly women and children, were living in giant tents and each family only had some square feet to themselves where they would sleep on the floor. They had absolutely nothing. This was a heartbreaking moment, an overwhelming moment, because it was just so frustrating to see that whatever efforts we would undergo, there was still so much that these thousands of refugees would need especially when returning to their home country, Afghanistan. But the hope in their eyes and their desperate longing for a better life lifted me and made me strong and convinced me that no matter how difficult, I had to remain committed to do the best I possibly could to help such families in desperate need. And shortly after this, I also founded my own charitable organization, the Princess Inara Foundation.